Hey, this is Chad Tatro from Developer Relations at Research in Motion. And today I'm going to show you how to incorporate mapping services such as Google, Bing, and others into your WebWorks applications for BlackBerry 10. So to start with, we're using geolocation to uh, detect where the, the user is who's using the application. Uh, it's the HTML5 geolocation spec, so everything is the standard. Um, and quite simply, in this case, we will search for nearby pubs. And there's probably not a whole lot around this area, but as you can see, one came up there. And uh, that is about it for Google. I'll show you the same example using Bing. So as you can see, the map is detecting us in the same place. Styling's a little different. Let's, uh, we'll search for a pub here. So you notice we have more pubs showing up with Bing Maps. Uh, that's because we're using two different services. Obviously for Google, we're doing a, a query with the, the Google database. And Bing, we're using the, the Bing service for searching. Next, we'll look at Leaflet. And once again, we'll search. And Leaflet, we're actually querying with the Google Maps API. So you'll notice that we just found one result there as well. And lastly, open layers. Perform a search. And once again, just the one result. So if you're looking for pubs around this town, uh, Bing Maps is the one to use. Uh, next, we'll take a look at some source code. So to get started with Google Maps, it's quite simple. Uh, to start with, in our index file, we're including the API in our, as a script source. Next, on our actual Google Maps HTML page, um, you'll notice the div ID map canvas. We're using that to uh, render the map onto the screen. And all the rest is just styling here for the actual user interface for a BB UI. Now going back to the source code, we're setting uh, our location here. My location, we're telling Google Maps where we want the, essentially where we want the map to be centered. Um, we're also specifying some map options, such as the zoom level, uh, again, center on my location, which is latitude and longitude. Um, and then we're just setting some controls. Like in this case, we don't want the zoom control to be on and uh, street view, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, there's quite a few options if you look at the documentation on GitHub. And lastly, to draw the map, we're just, again, specifying we're using the map canvas div and the map options, and it takes care of the rest. Searching for points of interest is pretty easy with Google as well. Let's try to find my search function here. There it is, search for places. And what we're doing is uh, creating a request, and uh, we're just specifying the location we want to search in. Again, we're using my location, which we defined earlier, uh, the radius, in this case, uh, 2,000 meters, and the types of uh, locations we're looking for. In uh, our case, we're looking for, for uh, bars. So essentially, that's it for searching. Um, again, we're just uh, following the docs that Google provided. It's uh, quite easy. And uh, once we have some results, we want to create push pins on the map. So you'll see here we have our search callback. Uh, this is what gets triggered after the uh, search for places function completes. And all we're doing is quite simply looping through the results and creating a marker for each one of those results. And when we're creating the marker, it's, it's simply just uh, picking a, a point on the map that's provided from the search results and placing the marker there. So it's, it's very simple again. So Bing Maps, again, is very similar to Google. If we look at our HTML, we again have a map canvas div specified, our indexed HTML. You'll see we're including the API here. And back on the JavaScript side of things, um, it's very similar to Google Maps. Uh, here we're specifying that we want to draw to the map canvas. We're providing our credentials, which Bing requires to, uh, to use their API. We're telling it where to center, uh, similar to Google. Again, our zoom level is 14. And then we have some other options like uh, turning off uh, 
copyright notices and that kind of thing. Um, if you want to see all the options, again, you can visit their documentation site, which is available on our GitHub for this app sample. Uh, there's lots of links on there to reference everything. Searching for places in Bing is pretty straightforward. It's a little different than the way uh, Google does it, but uh, essentially we're uh, initializing our Bing places search. Next, we're actually performing a search. Uh, you'll see for the query, we're looking for bars in Waterloo, Canada. Uh, the count, we only want a maximum of 15 results. And essentially, we're providing a callback and telling it to search. Now you notice in the search callback, uh, very similar to Google, we're looping through the results and creating a marker, just like we did previously. So for leaflet and open layers, um, they are very similar, again. If you look at the HTML, once again, I'm providing a map canvas and open layers will be the exact same thing. If we go back to index, you'll notice we are including the leaflet CSS as well as their API. And of course, we've got open layers API included as well. Back in the JavaScript side of things, uh, it's quite simply, we're specifying where to draw the map to. Here's our map canvas. We're setting up our longitude and latitude here, where we want it to be centered, and uh, providing all our options again. Here we've chosen a 16 for our map zoom, and essentially that's it. Now searching is a little different in open layers and leaflet. Uh, we're actually making use of the Google search queries. So. Um, Going along the same lines as Google, we perform a search, and in our callback function, parsing the data, looping through the results, and adding a marker. Let's take a look at the open layers. Here's our search callback for open layers. Doing the same similar thing again, and creating the markers. So as you can see, including maps in your BlackBerry WebWorks apps is quite easy. Creating markers is very easy. We perform a search, loop through the results, and create the pinpoint on the map. I encourage everyone to check out the GitHub repo on it. If uh, you have any questions, concerns, uh, feel free to reach me on Twitter at Chad Tatro or in our BlackBerry support forums, and we'll do our best to answer your questions.